Hey everybody, do you want to get some free money in your cash app? Do you want to go ahead and get rich, easy, generate some money, no problem at all? Just go ahead and do a couple surveys, do nothing really? Well, I got a really easy solution for you. Literally just generate money out of free hair because there's, you know, that's so realistic. That That's how the real world has always worked. You just, yeah, just generate money out of nowhere. So I was watching a Some Ordinary Gamers video. Uh, he has about a million subscribers. You probably know who he is. And he was making a video about this subject. And, you know, these kinds of scams have been going on on YouTube for a long time. Now, not necessarily just surrounding Cash App, just around pretty much everything. I mean, people have been ripping ripping people off on YouTube with these kinds of scams for a long time, with all kinds of different things, with mobile apps, with games, with cash app scams, with pretty much anything you could realistically get your hands on. I mean, if it's something that you can download on a computer, a phone, any piece of technology, there's a way that you can get people to complete surveys and download malware onto their stuff and, you know, market things to them and profit off of it. You know, there, there's going to be somebody out there trying to take advantage of it by, you know, making a YouTube video on how to generate free money on your cash app and whatnot. So now, of course, YouTube is a very big platform. I mean, there's a ridiculous amount of content uploaded to it all the time. It, of course, is going to be virtually impossible for them to take down literally every single video you, the moment it's uploaded. I mean, it, it's very unrealistic to expect that. But of course, you know, it, it's a good thing to call these kinds of things into question when you see them, because these kinds of scams, obviously, they're not really targeted towards like fully fledged adults who can kind of see these things for what they are. Maybe I would be surprised, but yeah, I would say, you know, most adults that I would think of probably would see this for what it is. So like Mudahar, I'm willing to guess that this is probably primarily children. Um, the website design definitely indicates that, like he said. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this video and you go ahead and tell me what you guys think about this. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can generate money on the Cash App. So this is a very cool thing and I've been making a lot of money on it. Right now I have zero dollars on the Cash App, but I'm going to go ahead and generate $999 just to show you guys this actually works. Okay, so problem number one for me is that he, he says, oh, I've been making so much money doing this. I've been making a ridiculous amount of money doing this. It's so easy to generate money doing this. Literally, all you got to do is go to this website that's linked in the video. Very very easy and quick is the name of this video. It's that simple, but I have zero dollars in my cash app. You would think that if you want to market this in the video, the first thing that would be available on the cash app would be like millions of dollars. Would just be like an insane amount of money right in your cash app. It wouldn't just be no money in your account. Oh, I only have a little bit of money in my account. No, I, I got zero dollars in my account. I have nothing. It's really cool. To get started, all you have to do is open up a web browser and go onto your web browser on your mobile device and type in the URL that will be in the bottom right hand corner of my screen. Now you're going to notice that the audio is completely horrible. This is not my fault. This is not, I didn't do anything to it. This is the actual audio. And like Mudahar said, well, he thinks that he was actually clipping other people's audio together. I think he was recording with a bunch of different microphones and for some reason merging them, which I wouldn't understand why he would do that, but I don't know. People do weird things. Either that or he just has literally the worst microphone I've ever heard, but something is horrible with this audio. Button on the top, or you can scroll all the way down and continue um, with the generation. I'm going to go ahead and hit that. See, it brings me all the way to the bottom, and here is the online generator. All right, I'm just going to let you guys know right now that everything you're seeing on the screen when it comes down to this generator, when it comes down to all these people generating these random amounts of money, None of this is real. This has all been designed into the website. This is all a bunch of random stuff. It's probably just a database with random names and variables coded into it that are designed to randomly show up at different, like, times. There, I would, I would be not surprised at all if that were the case. Or maybe this actually is real people doing this. I don't know. But I would be pretty shocked if they actually went through and took the time to make something real. But this generator is 100% false. So here, all I have to do is enter the name of my cash app, which for me is a sequence of numbers, and now I can select how much money I want. Wait a minute. His cash app is a sequence of numbers, but uh, when when you go back earlier in in the whole thing, his his cash app is actually just it's like a it's a name. It's not a sequence of numbers. It's just a regular like cash app profile. So he's lying once again. So just like any normal human being would do. He just went and typed a bunch of numbers into the name generator and was just bullying it through this part. So we're going to do $999 and then we're going to hit start generator. 
Like Mudahar said in his video, or some ordinary gamers, if you don't know who he is, his name's Mudahar. If this is such a very easy and quick thing, and it has the ability to generate all this money, why are you stopping at $999? Why don't you literally just max out at whatever the limit is? If it's so great, why did you have no money in the account, and why are you only doing $1,000? Like, why would- if you really want to market this thing to us, and make the most amount of money off of your video and whatnot as possible, why wouldn't you show yourself giving us- giving yourself a billion dollars? You know, just doing something insane. Which do you think I'm more likely to go to cash- you know, cash out on? A billion dollars? Or a thousand? So now it's going to process my request, and what it's doing here is it's injecting packets into the Cash App database. It's injecting packets into the Cash App database. Now I'm going to give you guys an IT lesson here because he's using he's using little trigger words and little phrases here to like to manipulate people who don't know anything about like computer science or anything or networking or anything. Injecting packets is just it's very simple networking basically. Uh, when you have a network or you have like a few networks that are connected together and they have like an established connection, uh, they send these things called packets which have data in them uh, between this connection. That's what, you know, transfers things between these two networks or however many networks are in this connection. Now, when you inject packets into it or, you know, you send fake packets into it, basically uh, you, you trick these things into thinking that you're part of this connection. That's basically what this is supposed to be doing. The only difference is is that it doesn't make any sense because if you know anything about that, you would know that this has nothing to do with networking. Like your money in your Cash App balance is not based on like the network of Cash App. It's based on like the account balance of your account. It's not based on the the networking and the, the packets. That has nothing to do with it. it. The only real use you would have with like falsifying packets on the Cash App networks is if you were gonna like DDoS their servers or if you were gonna like test their security or see if they had like censorship or privacy or like test their firewalls. That That's really all you would be doing. Don't believe, don't believe it. it is all I'm, that, that's basically all I should have to say, but. So it's gonna go ahead and fetch my profile, inject those packets and modify the money value from zero to $999. And you guys can see the process has completed. So now the next step here is to do human verification. So all you have to do is hit that verify now button. When you hit that verify now button, basically, uh, well, when you see it says like after successful completion of the offer, that means that you're gonna have to do surveys. AKA, uh, you're probably gonna have to download malware or you're gonna have to uh, release a bunch of like personal information about yourself, most likely to like Russians or something, uh, so they can use it for like political purposes. I don't know, something stupid, something that you should not be partaking in because it's very, it, it's not worth it, you're, it's not worth your time. You're not gonna get $999 in your cash app. You're not gonna get $10,000 million in your cash app. You're not gonna get a dollar in your cash app. All you're doing, you're wasting your time, you're destroying your computer, and you're giving up your personal information. Let's go ahead and skip a little bit later in the video and, and let's see what this human verification is. From this list and follow- Yep, we're installing apps, told you. Don't download these games. Don't, don't download anything any of this tells you to download. I mean, they might be on the app store, so I guess they're maybe somewhat trusted. I don't, I don't know how the process for verification on the app stores go. I, I'm not 100%, I can't tell you that, but anything that comes out of any of these videos where they tell you, oh, hey, just download the things off these surveys, don't. Don't. All right, hey, let's see if he got his money, though, because, I, I mean, that's, you know, the end goal of this whole thing. We want to get our millions upon millions of dollars and go, you know, buy, you know, I, I don't know, buy whatever, right? That, that's up to you, right? You're, it's your cash app, after all, not mine. You know, you want to go buy, I don't know, My Little Pony or whatever, that, that's up to you. I'm not going to judge you too much, but let's check. Open up the cash app, and you guys can see $999 getting loaded right into my account. Okay, weirdly enough, the audio now has people talking in the background like he's in an office building. Yeah, that's not sketchy at all, because uh, usually when you're recording in your bedroom or, or wherever you were recording before, there's just, you know, dozens of people in the background and an office speaking all of a sudden. That's how that works. Make sure to follow all the instructions of this video very carefully so you guys can generate money as well for yourself on the Cash App. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good one, and enjoy all the free money you get. Oh my god. Oh my god, he got his money. He got his $999. I, 
I'm stunned right now. Okay, let me explain what happened. So, throughout the duration of this video, he made several cuts, okay? Whenever he was going in between the apps or whatever, which is weird because, I mean, what what's the big deal between, like, just showing what's going on between? But he made several cuts between, and, uh, you know, that's evidenced by the fact that he suddenly was in an office after being in his bedroom or wherever, and, uh, during one of these cuts, basically what happened is he either threw one of his bank accounts or with another account or something, or through a friend or something, sent $999 to his own cash app and basically, uh, simulated the, uh, the transaction of $999 to his account from this website. So no, he never actually got the $1,000 or whatever from this website. He, he did it himself. He never actually got the money. I shouldn't have to explain this to you, but I probably should do it anyway. So, so these scams are all over YouTube. And by the way, this is an unlisted video with almost half a million views, which like, uh, some ordinary gamer said, that's really suspicious. Um, yeah, there, there's scams like this all over the place. They do it with all kinds of different things. All the, like, newest video games that come out and stuff, they come out on mobile all of a sudden. It can be a PC-exclusive game, but hey, guess what? It's on mobile. You'll even see in the beginning of this video here on his phone, he somehow has Grand Theft Auto V. Isn't that incredible? I wouldn't be surprised if uh, somewhere on YouTube there's not a how to get Grand Theft Auto V for free on your phone. Oh, hey, complete these surveys. And, uh, you know, one of the surveys is... Who are you voting for for president in the next election? Please uh, show your name, social security number, your full address, uh, your driver's license number, and all this other ridiculous stuff, because dead serious, some of these surveys will actually have information like that, or they'll ask for information like things like that. There are some actual dangerous surveys and stuff on some of these different like generators and stuff and of course you don't actually end up getting any of these things it's a big ripoff the only people generating free money out of this whole thing are the people running these shams and making these youtube videos and youtube's not really enforcing any of this stuff i mean of course this is actually against the guidelines they're making misleading content they're running scams on youtube and stuff but at the end of the day they, they can't enforce these videos because this one is unlisted. It's not public, it's not searchable, it's not getting reported enough. So they're not, you know, they, they don't even really know it exists. I mean, in short, just don't, don't fall for these. If you ever see a generator video or anything on YouTube, like for PSN codes, Xbox codes, Cash App money, how to get GTA free on your phone, any game free on your phone, don't fall for it. There's really not that much in this world free. Free to play games, even then, I would argue they're not really free when, you know, a lot of the stuff is locked behind paywalls and stuff that you really want to enjoy. And at the end of the day, man, you just don't, don't, you just use your common sense. Don't fall for these kinds of things, man. Don't get blindsided by people like this, making videos with microphones that change to four different sounds. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here, go check out Some Ordinary Gamers video down below. He did inspire this video after all, and of course, I hope more people speak out about stuff like this, because it is actually kind of a big problem on YouTube. I mean, honestly, like, it, there's been a lot of situations like this, so, whenever it'll get fixed, I mean, I, I don't necessarily know, but, hopefully it'll be soon.